guys what is up welcome to my channel i know i look a little crazy right now i'm sorry that is because it is golden hour so if it's a little orange that's also why but it is not evening golden hour it is morning golden hour i woke up at 6 30 a.m to film this for you guys that is how much i love you i woke up at this hour so that i could do a full eight hour wear test for you guys on this foundation which leads me to my next point today we are going to be comparing the original and ever so popular a cosmetic cc cream versus their brand new confidence in a foundation i'm very very familiar with the cc cream it's like one of the most popular foundations it's really good i have used the confidence in a foundation uh, for the past couple of days and i really really wanted to compare these two let me tell you really quickly we're going to get into the most obvious comparisons so the new confidence in a foundation actually comes in 48 shades whereas the cc cream only comes in 12 now i obviously have the travel size of these because i just mixed two shades and i don't need a full foundation but we're going to pretend this is a full foundation so this full foundation is 39 dollars for 1.08 fluid ounces the new foundation is just one fluid ounce so 0.08 less product for $32. That is a $7 difference. If you order from the website, you can also get an extra 10% off, you know, if you enter your email. So this is actually, in my opinion, quite an affordable foundation. I ordered this just for $32 and I got free shipping. So $32 versus $39, I feel like that's a really big difference. They also both claim to be full coverage. Now, because this is a CC cream, the nature of this is it advertised as anti-aging SPF 50 and being like a moisturizing day cream. This has no SPF in it. It is advertised as like a full day, 24 hour full coverage foundation foundation which is going to cover blemishes redness dark spots and other imperfections it does include skincare ingredients such as hyaluronic acid hydrolyzed collagen peptides blase blase you can look at the website it says nothing about anti-aging in this online of course these both claim to cover blemishes and redness this one is said to be more of a color corrector. This one claims to have a velvet matte finish, whereas this one, it doesn't really have a claim, but it is just like a natural finish foundation. So basically, this claims to be a foundation and this claims to be an all-in-one skincare plus cover-up. Okay, cool. So I'm really quickly going to get into swatch comparisons for you guys so you can see how these colors kind of match up from their line. Hello and welcome to my arm of foundation swatches. So I'm just comparing the other It Cosmetics foundations that I have in my collection. So this first one is the foundation, the new product we're testing out. This is in the shade Light Natural. You know what? I don't want you to stare at my ugly finger. So the second one over here is the CC cream, which is what I'm wearing in this video today. This is in the shade light. Then we have the CC cream in the shade medium. And then this fourth one over here is the CC oil free matte in the shade light medium. So hopefully this helps you out if you were deciding what color to get. I know that the light is actually slightly too light for me and the medium was slightly too dark. So I decided to go for the darkest shade in the light section online in their color shade thingy, mojo. you know what I'm talking about. And um, yeah, it was way too light on me. So just be aware if you're around the same shade as me that one of the darkest shades in their shade finder for the light section was too light on me. So I find this foundation runs a little bit on the light side when I was picking them out. But yeah, I mean, it still worked on me, so. So let's get into application. This side I'm going to use CC cream. This side I'm going to use the new foundation. So because the foundation is really light, I'm just going to use the CC cream in light. So this, again, is the CC cream. I feel like the CC cream has such a weird undertone. I've never liked the undertone to this. So the consistency of the CC cream, by the way, is much more liquidy. So I just put on a really, really light layer. Okay, so this is with one layer of the CC cream, just like a really light natural layer looking good but yeah definitely when i'm spreading the oops let me switch sides of my beauty blender definitely when i am applying the foundation it actually is a lot thicker especially once you spread it out these aren't exactly the same colors it's fine okay so i do like to apply this foundation with a brush i think it 
is a little bit more full coverage with a brush, but it does look good with a beauty blender as well, which is why I did opt to use the beauty blender. <sighs> but here's the thing. I need you to see this. When I use a beauty blender for the foundation, it balls up. I don't know if you can see. Do you see these little balls? Every time I use a beauty blender or a sponge, this happens. It's not okay. I took a clip of me using it the other day. Um, there's no balls on the CC cream side. So let me tell you the differences right away. Obviously, they're different shades get over it <laughs> um so first of all application wise the cc cream glides on a lot smoother it has more of a natural finish a little less coverage the foundation has a little bit more coverage um that velvet matte finish is very very true it is a velvet matte a little bit more of a thicker consistency a little bit harder to blend out and it balls up which is weird these are definitely two totally different foundations. The CC cream looks so much more natural. I'm going to go ahead and apply a second layer of each. Just a second light layer, not too much. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. I've kind of been struggling with the foundation. I haven't really been loving it, which is why I definitely wanted to compare it to the CC cream for this video. It always tends to look a little cakey around the mouth area, so I just wanted to make sure it like wasn't my mouth area, and it was actually the foundation. So as it's not looking super cakey, <laughs> wait a second, dude. <laughs> Ignore my crusty looking lips. Ew. We will see as the day goes on but it's definitely looking a little bit more powdery on this side compared to the CC cream so I'm not liking that basically what I'm saying just based on initial application this is more full coverage it has a thicker consistency it has more of a matte finish if you apply with a beauty blender it balls up which is kind of weird and annoying um the CC cream is much more of a natural finish light coverage has a little bit more of a sheen to it blends a little better but like I said you're getting less coverage so I'm going to go off camera finish the rest of my makeup and I'm gonna be back just to talk about this foundation and what I found so far from wearing it. Okay, so I finished my makeup. If you're curious about anything I'm wearing, it will be in the description box, but um, I didn't really do anything else to the rest of me. But I did just want to take a moment, show you what I look like with the whole face on. Immediately, huge difference between the CC cream and the foundation. The CC cream just blends in with my skin better. The foundation, uh, it's sitting on top of my skin. It's caking a little. I'll get a little closer for you to see. I noticed like the sitting on top and the caking, especially like in this area where this just looks like it's melted in. This looks like it's sitting on top of my skin. It's looking cakey right here, which leads me to my next point. I wanted to compare it with the CC cream because I wanted to make sure it wasn't my skin that was in a bad place. I am going to play around with the CC matte version just to see how they compare, but more people have the actual regular CC cream, so that's why I'm comparing these two. And I like the CC matte cream. This, I do not like. It balls up when you apply it. It sits on top of the skin. It cakes. I almost don't want to do the wear test because now I can verify that I don't like it. I am going to go through with the wear test, so in a few hours you will see how this is looking and how this is wearing comparing to the CC cream. I mean, you guys know I don't like how this sits on my skin. I'd say obviously it's more for somebody who has oily skin type. I have normal to dry, but I am going to test this to see if this is more long wearing and how it wears because it does claim to have 24 hour wear. So I will see you guys in the next check-in. Hey guys, what is up? So it is about 11 o'clock right now. So we're about four hours in. Obviously I'm filming on my iPhone. So I was going to update you guys two hours into the wear time but it literally was looking the same as when I applied it so we've had some progress now I just got out of a praxis test all my education friends you know what sorry if this is like really unflattering I can't see what I'm filming but all of my education friends you know what a praxis test is they <laughs> suck it's basically a test all these series of tests you need to pass to get certified to allow to be in an education program like they just bailed I literally have graduated I have a teaching degree but not my certification so the practice still continues I've been taking them for years but anyways 
So how's the foundation looking? So my oils have kind of come through, so the cakiness has gone down. It's looking a lot more natural now. This foundation does oxidize. It's a little closer to my natural skin tone now. So it's kind of caught up to the CC side where it's looking really natural and really pretty. I don't notice excessive cakiness. I feel like the previous days I've worn this, I've just complained about the cakiness, but it's gone down. So right now, it's not looking as good as the CC side, but it's so much better than it was this morning. So that gap is closing. I'm not surprised because with matte foundations that typically happens. I don't like it in the morning. A few hours pass. My oils come through. It's looking a lot better now. So that is my four hour update. I will update you guys again in two hours. Totally realized that as I was filming, I was totally filming at like a terrible, terrible angle. So this is the CC cream side. This is the foundation side. As you can see, um, not too much difference right now. So looking good. Okay, so it is about 1 o'clock, so I've officially been wearing this foundation for six hours, and here's my little update. So stated in the last check-in, it looks a lot better than when it was first applied, uh, just because my oils have broken through, kind of smoothed out that cakiness. I am noticing a bit more texture being emphasized on the foundation, but it's like ever so slightly, I was looking for it. To the visible eye, there really is no major difference between the two right now. I can see a little bit of extra breakage, starting to begin around the nose area. So this foundation, based on my previous experience, once it hits the 8 hour mark is when it all goes downhill and I start to look nasty. But right now, between the both, they both look pretty. Um, obviously less coverage on this side, more coverage on this side. Blush and highlights holding on very, very well. Yeah, so here, we'll get, we'll get close. So, I mean, I was talking trash about this foundation. But TBH, it looks kind of good. And then, keep in mind this has less coverage and is a little bit of a different tone. I'm still preferring the CC side. It just feels a little bit lighter on my skin. I like the application better. As of now, the two sides are just looking really similar, so <laughs> not that exciting. This side is just looking a tad bit more natural where the CC was applied. Alright, so I will check in in two hours for the final check-in. Hello, so we are back here for the final check-in. It is, what time is it? 4.22. So you guys have gotten a little bit of an extended wear test. Um, I really wasn't doing anything. I just didn't feel like hopping in front of the camera. So I've been wearing this for almost nine and a half hours. I don't have a big problem with longevity of face products just because I do have more normal to dry skin. However, Let's take a look at the face. So what I find with the CC line from A Cosmetics, obviously, is that the color is just very gray on me. Uh, it has a gray undertone on me for some reason. It's weird. And then this foundation is just too light for me. So I look a little bit sickly right now. It's not cute. I need to get this off my face. So I'm starting to get a little bit on the sweaty side, shiny side. Right away, the CC side looks much more natural. I look naturally sweaty, whereas this, I feel like I look a little bit more cakey and sweaty. Like I was wearing a lot of makeup on my face and I'm like sweaty. So I'm not actually sweaty. I'm just like oily in case you didn't catch on to that, but the average person outside, they are not going to be able to tell, oh my gosh, that side of your face looks cakey. However, you know, I'm in front of a bunch of lights. My face is pressed up against a mirror right now. This side looks a little bit better than this side, but it really isn't that big of a difference. Originally, my plan for this video was basically to drag this and to tell you how much better the regular CC cream is. And I was proven wrong because my face just doesn't look good right now. Um, so this isn't as bad as I thought it was compared to this, but I just don't like it. It's not my type of foundation. If you are looking to get a more matte foundation from IT Cosmetics and, you know, you're a little bit more oily, I would go with the CC Oil Free Matte. I really like this as a matte foundation. Of course, I do prefer the regular just because of my skin type, but this is a good matte foundation. Now, this isn't going to have as much coverage as the foundation, but honestly, I just don't think this is worth it. I know it's only $32 compared to the $39, but I really just don't like this. I feel like it really separates on my face. Like, 
it's completely gone around my nose over here and I just don't like the way this wears I don't like the way this feels on my skin and you saw those weird balls when I was applying this just I'm considering returning this and if I'm returning a product that I purchased that's saying a lot especially if I purchased this online because <laughs> that's a lot of extra work. I did do a video the same as this comparing the matte to the regular so if you are interested in maybe trying this out I would check that video out. So yeah basically my overall opinion of this today's wear test is I just don't like this foundation and I'm really disappointed because I love it cosmetics as a brand. I love what they stand for. I feel bad saying this is poo poo but I just have so many better foundations in my collection. Now I do think I could get this foundation to work if I oh, if I mix it with an oil or even I think it might be a good combination with this it would provide a little bit more coverage that actually might be a really good combination honestly I know there's a lot of you who probably make foundation cocktails a lot I don't I like to use the product and just love it for what it is and if it doesn't work for me then it's not that good of a foundation you know all right so that about sums it up for this video I hope whatever you are looking for in this video helped you out comment down below on what your thoughts are about this foundation did you pick it up did you experience the same things as me? I need to know. Like, am I crazy? So just like this video, do what you gotta do, and subscribe to me, duh. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Have a great day.